Okay, so it's Jenna here, and I am extremely happy to be part of this project. So I want to be clear, I'm not a medical doctor, but I am a PhD in biology, and I have done an extraordinary amount of research in the primary literature around menopause, menopause symptoms, treatment of menopause, when and why does it happen, all of that. That information I then summarized and wrote all of the material that's on the Herstasis Health website. Uh, so the intention there is for you to not have to go through all the literature because I've already done it. Uh, so anything that I'm saying here, you can supplement that in information by going and reading much more detailed and complete information. One of my favorite things, no, <laughs> HRT, hormone replacement therapy, is the same as HT, which is hormone therapy, and is the same as MHT, which is menopause or menopausal hormone therapy. So those names are all used to describe a type of medication that you may be prescribed if you're having difficult symptoms uh, associated with perimenopause. Um, but to understand hormone therapy, there are two things you actually need to really understand. One of them is hormones, what is a hormone? And the other one is what happens to hormones as you age. What's a hormone? You know, we talk about them, everybody's heard the word, but most people don't really understand what they are. Hormones are little molecules and they are made within different organs and glands in your body that combined are the endocrine system. So you may, if you're having hormonal issues, you may be referred to see an endocrinologist because those are the medical profession, professionals that specialize in help, helping manage hormone problems. Now, hormones are chemical messengers, so they, they, they are made in a gland, then they are released by the gland or organ because ovaries, for instance, are, are creating hormones, but they're not necessarily a gland. Uh, but the, the hormones are made, they are released into your bloodstream where they wail around looking for what is called a target cell. So these chemical messengers have to take a message from place A and deliver it to place B. And so they go through the bloodstream until they find their target cell and then they attach to it, and by attaching to it, they send a message and tell the cell to do something. Everything that happens inside your body is part of a chemical reaction. And this theme will come up over and over again because we have a lot of judgments in our, in our society about putting chemicals into my body. And it always makes me laugh because I'm like, dude, <laughs> everything you're putting into your body is a chemical. You don't want to put bad ones in, but I digress. So hormones control pretty much everything that happens in your body. Eating, sleeping, breathing, they all are, um, they all happen as a result of having hormonal, uh, having an, a hormonal influence. A female reproductive system has a huge amount of estrogen uh, racing around helping it control, but estrogen is not the only hormone involved in female reproduction. There's progesterone, there's something called follicle stimulating hormone. In fact, there's a whole bunch of hormones that also are sending and, and uh, taking messages throughout the body to make your whole system work, right? The reproductive system. The thing about estrogen is that estrogen is what's called a master regulator, which means that estrogen acts on way more systems in your body than just your reproductive system, right? So you just have to remember that. Estrogen is like the superheroine of, of hormones in your body. You can really only understand what's happening in perimenopause, which is the period of time leading up to menopause, which we'll talk about, but you can only understand that end of the story if you also consider the beginning of the story. Right? So when you get your first period, that is the sign, the biological sign that you are now an adult, right? You are, even though we all know that kids are not adults for a while, but the period signals that you're into your reproductive years. Your reproductive system is working, 
and you will continue to have periods throughout your life until you hit the other end of the reproductive road, which is menopause. And menopause is a point in time when you haven't had a period for 12 months. If you think back to your teenage years, there was probably some angst that went with that. Teenagers are moody, they are grumpy, they get acne, they start to develop, they get body hair. It's typically a nightmare for everyone involved, right? And that behavior and all of those changes are happening because reproductive hormones, particularly estrogen, are increasing. And they increase to the level that it, the whole system turns on and you're good to go. So you've got this teenage hormonal distress that happens, uh, why high school is so fun. And then the other end of that road, the exact same thing happens, except estrogen is now decreasing. Instead of in your teen years where it's coming up to get you ready to reproduce, when you're older, it starts to decrease, those levels start to decrease, and that stage when you're not at menopause yet, but the estrogen is going down, that's called perimenopause. And exactly like when you were a teenager, you are now in hormonal roller coaster land. And this has some very significant impacts. When your levels of estrogen drop, the symptoms that go with that can, can, there is such a wide range of them. The most common ones are hot flashes and night sweats, but there's also anxiety, there's tingling and shocks, there's migraines, there's joint pain. I mean, you can be affected in so many ways by these changes in estrogen. No way to predict what you're going to experience, right? You can often look to your mother or, or your, you know, your female relatives and see what they went through, but there's no guarantee because a theme of all of these talks that I'm giving, um, we are all individuals and your body is so unbelievably complex and all of these chemical reactions that there is no way to draw a straight line from any one cause to any one symptom. And HRT, MHT, HT, hormone therapy, what is it? It's the gold standard to treat this, the impacts of this decrease in estrogen. So there's no magic about it. it. What it's doing is replenishing these hormone levels that are naturally dropping. And we're not using HT to stop aging. <laughs> that would be interesting. But we're doing it to relieve these symptoms. And it's not gonna change menopause. It's not gonna change the fact that you're getting older, but it may very well really help you make it through the day. Thanks for watching this episode. For more menopause stories like this, subscribe below and don't forget to click the bell so you are notified when we drop a new episode.